Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on Pascal's triangle and binomial expansion. Um, for any binomial expression with power n, the Pascal triangle is used to generate the coefficients. So we'll be looking at generating Pascal's triangle. So there we have a power and the coefficients. Now starting from power 0, we know any number to the power of 0 is 1. So therefore the coefficient of that is going to be 1. For power 1, we are going to have two terms. So we have uh, the first term having coefficient as a uh, 1 and the second term having the coefficient as also 1. Like you can see in x plus y all to the power of 1. So we see the coefficient of x there is 1 and the coefficient of y there is 1. Also for power 2, we are going to have three terms. So the first term has coefficient to be 1 and the last term has coefficient to be 1. And to get the coefficient of the middle term here, we are going to add these two coefficients we have there in the preceding power so that's going to give us 1 plus 1 which gives 2 then for power 3 we are going to have th four terms and the first term the coefficient will be 1 and the last term the coefficient will be also 1 then to get the second term it is the sum of the first two coefficient in the preceding power that's going to give us a 1 plus 2 that gives 3 and for the third term we add the next two coefficients in the preceding power so that will give us a 2 plus 1 and that gives 3 then for power 4 we are going to have 5 terms so the first term still maintain this one and the last term still maintain the one and uh, the second term here is addition of these first two coefficients here so we have it as one plus three which gives four and uh, the third term is also the sum of the two terms we have here which gives 3 plus 3 and that gives 6 and for the fourth term it is addition of these 3 and this 1 we have 3 plus 1 which gives 4 and for power 5 we have 6 terms the first term still maintain this 1 and the last term still maintain this 1 and for the second term it is the sum of this 1 and the 4 so sum of 1 and 4 which gives 5 and for the third term we are looking at 4 and 6 so 4 plus 6 gives 10 and for the fourth term here we are adding this 6 and 4 so that is 6 plus 4 gives 10 and here for this term we are adding 4 and 1 so that we have 1 plus 4 which gives 5 so that's that for power 5 and the list continues endlessly we can go for 6 using the coefficient of a uh, 5 we use 6 to get the coefficient of uh, power 7 and so on but for the purpose of this tutorial we are going to stop at power 5 and uh, we go ahead to solve some problems solved problems problem one expand a x plus y to the power of three b x minus y to the power of three so in our solution we are starting from uh, a before we go we need to bring the pascal's triangle and uh, since the power here is three we we'll look at line 4 that is the first line is line 0 
one two three this is the power three so the coefficients are one three three and uh, one so these are the things we need in the pascal's triangle then we now go ahead to fix the remaining content of the terms the power of x is decreasing to the right while the power of y is increasing to the right so for the first term the power of x is the highest power we have here which is x raised to power 3 so that we now have a here x squared here x and the power here is x raised to power 0 which is still 1 we don't need to write it then for power y since we said it is increasing we can only have it highest here and the highest power is 3 so we fix it as y raised to power 3 y raised to power 2 y and the y raised to power 0 here is 1 so we don't need to fix it and since the connector here is positive so all the terms are positive then we now simplify mathematically we don't allow this 1x raised to power 3 and 1y raised to power 3 so we go ahead to say x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed and that's the solution to this uh, problem for problem b what we need to do is the difference between a and b is the connector which is this one is addition and this one is subtraction so it is advisable you treat it normally as addition then we now fix in the sign so the sign is going to be determined by the power of y sign whether it is positive or negative so we pick the first term x cubed 3x squared y 3xy squared and y cubed to fix in the sign either positive or negative we said the power of y will determine the sign of each of the term since the power of y is zero here so we leave it as x raised to power 3 so the power of y here is 1 and it is odd therefore it is going to take negative the power of y here is 2 and it is even so that term will take positive and here the power of y is odd so it takes negative and we have expanded the problems given to us in one so from here we go to problem two for problem two expand and simplify 2x plus y all to the power of 4 plus 2x minus y all to the power of 4 um, like the way we did problem 1a and b the same thing we are going to do in problem 2 so we simplify this then we get the sign attached to it from our result in the first one so since the connector is just the difference between this and this in our solution we said we have a 2x plus y to the power of 4 first and uh, we bring in our Pascal's triangle we are going to line 5 1 2 3 4 5 this is line 5 the power is 4 here so we collect the coefficient that's going to give us 1 4 6 4 1 and these are what we need from the Pascal's triangle we now fix in the content of the remaining terms now for the first term we said we pick 2x and give it the highest power then the power decreases to the right so we are going to have it as 2x all to the power of 4 2x all to the power of 3 2x all to the power of 2 2x and here is 2x to the power of 0 which will give us 1 there's no need to bring in that one then the next term here is y we start from the last term where y has the highest power and the highest power is 4 so we have y raised to power 4 y raised to power 3 y raised to power 2 y and uh, we now 
introduce the sign since the connector here is positive so all the terms are going to be positive so we have a plus here plus plus and a plus so simplifying this we have a 2x raised to the power 4 2 raised to the power 4 is 16 so we have the first term to be 16x raised to the power 4 and 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 times 4 32 so we have 32 x cube y this is 2 raised to the power 2 which is 4 times 6 that will give us a 24 x squared y squared and here we have a 2 times 4 which gives a 8x y cube plus y to the power of 4. If you look at every term, the sum of the powers gives 4. 2 plus 2 here, this is 1 plus 3, this is 4. So now we are done with 2x plus y all to the power of 4. We go ahead to do 2x minus y all to the power of 4. We said we only need the terms here. So first we collect the terms. Then we now attach either positive or negative to each of the terms. And the determinant here is the power of y. Always the power of y. If the power of y is odd, it takes negative. If it is even, it takes positive. So here, y is the power 0. So that one is immaterial. We come here, y is the power 1. So it takes negative because 1 is odd. So here, y is the power 2. So the power is even. So it takes plus. And here, y raised to the power 3 is odd, it takes minus, and here takes a plus. So we are done expanding this. Now, going back to our problem, we are to expand and simplify this. So what we are going to do here is to add this. So adding 1 and 2, adding this and this, we have 2x plus y all to the power of 4 plus 2x minus y all to the power of 4 to be sum of 1 and 2 16x4 plus 16x4 gives 32x4 32x cube y minus 32x cube y gives 0 so that one is gone 24x squared y squared plus 24x squared y squared gives 48x squared y squared and this one we cancel out also since this is plus 8xy cube minus 8xy cube and uh, here we have y4 plus y4 gives plus 2y4 and we have expanded and simplified the problem in problem 2 we now go to problem 3 for problem 3 Expand 1 minus 2x all to the power of 5 and simplify all the terms. Use your result to evaluate 0 0.8 to the power of 5. In our solution, we have a 1 minus 2x all to the power of 5. We bring in the Pascal's triangle and we are going to the last line since the power is 5 here with the respective coefficient. And we are only interested in the coefficient and they are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So these are the coefficients we need. So we now go ahead to fix in the remaining terms of the expansion. And the first term in the binomial expression is 1. So since 1 raised to power 5, 1 raised to power 4, 1 raised to power 3, 1 raised to power 2, 1, up to 1 raised to power 0 is 1. So we may not need to fix 1, 1 times 1 times 1 since they still give us the terms. But if it is a number 2, you have to bring in 2 raised to power 5, 2 raised to power 4 in that decreasing order. So because if it is 1, we will 
just leave it like that since 1 to any power gives 1. So we go ahead now to fix the second term which is negative 2x. I have told you we are going to fix the 2x first starting from the last term. So we have 2x to the power of 5, 2x to the power of 4, 2x to the power of 3, 2x to the power of 2 and 2x. Then we go ahead to fix in the sign positive or negative. Still, the power of x will determine the sign. It is still if the power of x is even, it takes positive. If it is odd, it takes negative. In the first term, the power is zero. So it's even, so we don't need to go there. So here, the power of x here is one, so it takes minus. The power of x here is going to be 2, it takes plus. The power of x here is 3, it takes minus. This is 4, it takes plus. And this is 5, it takes minus. Then we simplify. That will be 1 minus 10x. This is 2 squared. 4 times 10 gives plus 40x squared. This is... 8x cubed times 10 minus 80x cubed. This is 2 raised to the power 4. 16 times 5 gives 80x4 minus 32x5. Since 2 raised to the power 5 is 32. So we've ended up expanding and simplifying the terms of 1 minus 2x all to the power of 5. Then we now go ahead to evaluate 0 0.8 to the power of 5. Before we go, 0 0.8 to the power of 5 is the same thing as 1 minus 0 0.2. So we have made it to look like the binomial expansion we are working with. So we now go ahead to compare 1 minus 0 0.2 all to the power of 5 with 1 minus 2x all to the power of 5. If you look at it, so it is as good as saying 2x is equal to 0 0.2, where x is equal to 0 0.1. So to solve this 0 0.8 to the power of 5, we are going to substitute x is equal to 0 0.1 in this expression we have obtained. So 0 0.8 to the power of 5 now will give us uh, 1 minus 10 into 0 0.1 plus 40 into 0 0.1 squared minus 80 into 0 0.1 cubed plus 80 into 0 0.1 to the power of 4 minus 32 into 0 0.1 to the power of 5. So simplifying this from our calculator, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 0 0.4 this is going to be 0 0.08 this is going to be 0 0.008 and this one will give us 0 0.00032 and uh, finally we are having it as 0 0.32768 and that is the end of solution to problem 3 and this is the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get more videos on binomial expansion using the binomial expansion theorem. Until we come your way again, goodbye.